you say hello? Good morning, YouTube. Good morning, good morning. Um, welcome back to yet again another vlog of mine. You're watching a minute here on a tour beauty. So I'm actually starting the vlog with some makeup on, which doesn't often happen. Um, but we're just in the car, we're just driving. Um, I'm just driving to my mum's house, so um, we will be going to, oh wow, this lighting looks amazing. I'm actually really enjoying um, the fact that I have this car mount now for my phone. It just makes vlogging so much easier. Before my phone was just literally, it was on the dashboard and it would fall left, right and center. And I swear, this phone has probably fallen more times than I've ever fallen in my life. So, which actually that's kind of normal, right? Phones do fall. But yeah, so anyway, I'm just like cracking jokes on my own. But I am just on my way to my mum's house. I'm actually taking my dad to um, a dentist today. So um, unfortunately, my dad's dentist is not like a normal dentist where you just go for his teeth. Yes. So his dentist isn't a normal dentist. His dentist is all the way in central London. Um, he was like um, attended to by student doctors who were learning. So his dentist is far away, um, so we often have to take it in turns, me and my brother, because we both work, so, and the appointment's every two weeks, literally it's every two weeks. So me and my brother always have to take turns because it's not fair for one to always have days off of work and then one to always go. I think this may be his last appointment as well, which will be kind of nice as well. So I'm just on my way there. It's pretty early it's like 7 52 i don't get up this early i don't do my makeup this early anymore either um so this is a super super early for me harvey's just in the car with me because harvey will be staying with my mum for a little bit and then she will drop him to nursery if i'm not back um on time obviously you guys don't know my yeah maybe mummy will drop you that's what i said if mummy's not back on time um obviously you guys know the in-laws can't drive here so they can't exactly just drop Harvey off to nursery. Um, so Avi is with her grandparents, and yeah, so we're just on our way. And we're in a... Yeah, Avi was standing at the door and she started crying. You gave her a kissy. Yeah, she actually wasn't that bad. She was, she was okay. Like, um, I, I'm that kind of mother. I always, um, I say that the child should see the parent go everyone has different thoughts i mean most people would be like oh why don't you just move her to the side and you know um so she won't see you go but i'm not like that i always say like every time i leave the house i always say to my in-laws abby needs to see me be there and abby needs to see me leave just because when i'm not there and later on during the day i don't want abby to go around looking for me in the house because she'll know that mommy's already left and with Harvey, I did this as well. I left Harvey at 10 months when I went back to work. I went back early again with Harvey. But um, I did the same with Harvey. Every day I would leave for work, unless he was sleeping, I would always say bye to him because I always wanted him to know that my mummy goes out of the house to work. My mummy leaves the house to work. So I just find this that... Because when you were small, I used to leave the house to work. Because I work outside, Harvey. Harvey doesn't seem to believe that I work um, like a full-time job outside of the house. Just because he was like um, two and a half when I was like pregnant with Abney. And my manager was really kind enough. And majority of my days, I used to work from home. I only ever went into the office like two, one or two days. So he never really saw it. And um, so basically I've been working from home for over, way over a year now, so. Hey guys, I am home. Right, I really hope you guys can hear me and I don't have to shout at the top of my voice, but I am home now. Let me move a little bit closer to you all. But I am home guys and I literally just got home a little while ago so it's like 1.20. Why I have to always tell you guys a time I will never know. Mm, but yeah, I've just arrived at home now and 
after I finished um, with the appointment with my dad, I literally just went home to my mum's. What did I do at my mum's? Nothing really. I just quickly had something to eat and then I left. My mum's dropped Harvey to nursery. And then I just needed a few house bits, so I popped into Wilkinson's. So as soon as I came home, I was going to just quickly unpack some stuff and then just like put things away. But then I just know a lot of you guys love like my cleaning bits and a lot of you guys like to see like what I buy for the house. Um, just things that I get. So nothing's very, it, nothing's home decor related, I think. So everything is just like cleaning related and stuff like that. I've also got some Amazon parcels as well with some stuff that I ordered for Avneet so I thought I will show you those stuff as well so these bits for Avneet are actually for her shoot which is going to be tomorrow I'm picking up the cake so if I get a chance I will do her shoot tomorrow otherwise her shoot will be on Saturday so I'll take you through everything so I'm just going to take you through the bags as I go along so the first thing I picked up were these. So as you guys know, if any of you guys have heard previously, um, it's not good to have many bath toys, like the squishy bath toys for kids, in the bath just because the water feels inside the squishy bath toy. So when you squeeze it, although you squeeze out the water, the bacteria is still left in the squidgy thing. So we don't have any bath toys for the kids. So I picked up these little alphabets here because Water can't get inside of these, so I just thought these will be really, really cute. So these are just some alphabet sets, and I thought this would be great for Harvey as well, just because it's like alphabets. I then picked up some of these cups as well. These are just um, like stacking, pouring um, cups, so I'll just take these ones out. So they're just literally just these where you can just put water into them and then just splash them out. So none of these actually you can put, like the water doesn't stay in these because these all have holes. So you can just clean these out. So I just picked up these. So when I saw these in Wilkinson's, I thought these would be great for Abby to play with in the bath as well, as well as Harvey as well. So I picked up that. And then I also picked up this. So she's been loving like the water cup in the bath but she does splash the water outside. So I thought this would be quite nice. It's just like a watering can, so she could just play this as well. So these, I don't know. So these are just by Bath Time Buddies. I think these two, and this is by Nobby. Nobby, Nobby. So this is actually um, one of like the really good like kids brand we have in England. Nobby's quite good. They make all of their like teething toys with them. So I thought this would definitely be quite nice. And then I picked up some sprays. Let's go through our sprays first. So I picked up the Harpic. So this is the Harpic Power Plus. This is their like 10 times better than bleach. Um, I just got some of this to just put into the toilet. I believe you can use this. Yeah, this is just for the toilet seat. So I just got this for the toilet seat. Um, I use duck in the toilet seat, but I just thought this will be quite nice to just put in first, disinfect it, and then just use the duck on top of it for a nicer scent. So I picked up this over here. I then picked up this Sif over here. This is just a Sif Power and Shine. Um, this will just be good for my sink. So obviously you guys know that I get super depressed over my kitchen, and I really wish that my kitchen was like made, done up. Uh, but until it's not, I've got to take care of the stuff inside the kitchen at the moment. So I just thought this would be really nice, like every time after I've washed my dishes, just spray this on the kitchen sink and just kind of like disinfect and clean it all, make it nice and shiny. So just brought this here. And plus I'm using a lot of stuff. I want to test out what's amazing for the kitchen. So over time I can start using this as well. And then I picked up this spray here. Now I don't know how this is going to work. I actually couldn't find an actual spray or an actual product for the carpet that's what i was looking for i thought something might say like this is be good this will be good for the carpet but i couldn't find anything this is a ace stain remover um like it doesn't really say anything like it wouldn't say so it just said spray on the surface and rinse using a cloth or moist sponge for tough dirt leave for a while and rinse 
It just said, do not use on copper, brass, cast iron, untreated wood. Um, yeah, and then it just wouldn't say what this stain remover was for. Like, it just wouldn't say anything. Like, I had no idea. They had some for laundry, but this I just wasn't sure. So I'm going to test this on my carpet. Um, I'm going to do, like, test this on where I've dropped my makeup. So if it works, then that would be brilliant. And then I can show you guys, like, how this works on there as well. Um, then I just picked up another one of these. So I actually had one of these Airwick. I've got two of these, one for upstairs and I had one for downstairs. I don't know where the downstairs one's gone. Harvey has this thing where he pulls it out and pulls it into another plugs. So I don't actually know where that one went. So I've got one upstairs. So I brought another one for downstairs. I brought the crisp linen and lilac. And I think upstairs at the moment, I've got like a vanilla or something upstairs, like freshening at the moment. So that's really nice. I've got it in the passageway upstairs. So it just, it brings a really nice scent into the passageway and then a little bit into the rooms as well. So I've been loving that. So I brought another one of these. So Wilco actually had a huge offer on. So this was cut down from, I believe from like six pounds or seven pounds to four pounds, which so I picked up one of these. So a lot of these stuff were on like sales, so which was brilliant. Then I just picked up two of the Marigold uh, fiber cloths. So I don't know which one anybody uses, but I'm a huge fan of the Marigold. Um, I just find that the Spontex, 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 it just doesn't clear the fiber, um, the microfiber cloths aren't as brilliant and as thick as these ones. I always find the Marigold ones are so much thicker, they're so much better, and they literally just take all your water. Again, these were an offer for like 165, 135, cut down from like two pounds something. So obviously I picked up two. And if you guys know me and you guys um, know I've spoken to you guys before as well, I've always said to you guys, I like to bulk up on things. So I just like to put everything together and have like loads, loads of something so that when it comes nearby, I don't ever run out of something. So I picked up extra of these. And then like talk about hoarding. Um, these look, these in my, like, justice, like, me kind of just being realistic, I only picked up so many of these just because the Wilkinson I went to today was a big Wilkinson. Seeing as I'm off work today, I went to a Wilco next to my mom, which is like a double story and it's huge. Because the Wilkinson next to me, although it is double story, it's really petite and it's, it, it's, always out of stock of everything so these here are the marigold scrub away heavy duty scourers now i was trying to show my cousin this um like i was trying to explain to my cousin what this is but you know you can get the little scrunchies the little circle scrunchies made of like like a metal kind of thing metal metal like um like you get the little spirals because it even says it lasts long as long as five spirals so you get those little spirals which you can use for heavy duty pans but these i found are so much better because a they're like this little square rectangular shape and they're both on the either side i just find these last really 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 long so i picked up this they were for a pound so i picked up four just because i thought that you know what it's better to just have all of these now rather than I literally went like three months without these and these are amazing so I just picked up four of these and then uh, what else should I show you okay then I went and got this so if you guys uh, follow me on my home page which there's no point because I haven't uploaded on there for a long hot minute but I've always talked about scrub daddy this is absolutely brilliant so if you guys have seen my shower and you guys have seen like on my Instagram, on my homepage, my shower is literally spotless. It's literally like a see-through glass, like I've never used it. That's how my um, shower stays. It's literally because of this. Now, if, although like you guys can look at it and it might look like this scratches glass, it doesn't. This is a scratch free. So you can use this for everything actually. You can use this uh, for spoons, it's, you can put this in your dishwasher, you can use it for deep cleaning, you can even use this for cups, mugs, everything. Like 
I believe it or not, only use Scrub Mummy or Scrub Daddy. I only use this sponge for my bathroom. But yeah, you could use this for your dishes as well. So I think this could be like an alternative for this as well. So you can probably use this. So this is amazing. The one I have is a yellow one, which was a Scrub Daddy. And then around Christmas time, I bought a blue one, which was like a limited edition. Didn't really like the limited edition. I found the yellow one doesn't stain, whereas the blue one stains. So I didn't really like that one. And then I found this pink one. So I thought, why not get Scrub Mummy? So seeing as I have Daddy. Then I wanted to get some first aid stuff. So um, we, like Harvey must have gone to the range with me yesterday and he must have seen some plasters and he really wanted some like kitty plasters. So I thought, you know what, I'm gonna go grab some plasters and I knew Wilkinson does some. So then I picked up these two like kid, kids plasters. So I picked up one Paw Patrol plaster and I picked up this here, which is the Marvel Plasters. They're good because they've got 20 plasters each in the packets. If you guys can see, they've got 20 plasters each. So I thought these would be really good. He does like Paw Patrol, but he's not so hyper on Paw Patrol as much as he likes Marvel. So I just thought seeing as I've got, if I pick up Marvel, he's going to say, Mommy, I wanted Paw Patrol. So I just picked up both of these and... I'm probably, I did try and look, they had a little bag of like first aid stuff, but the first aid stuff I didn't look like amazing, amazing. So I just thought, you know what, I'm going to go on Amazon and try order like a plastic container, um, a nice like flip container, not one of those with the four normal, just like a plastic flip container. And then I can just pop these into there. And then obviously I thought if we've got kids plasters, we need to get some plasters for ourselves. So I just bought their basic fabric Wilco plasters. I think these are brilliant. We've had these before. They are really nice. So we just picked up these. So I'll just pop these into our like first aid kit and then I'll pop in our like temperature machine and then I'll just pop in a few other things in there. And then gradually I want to build a first aid kit up like um, of the bandage and everything like that just because obviously we've got kids. So you know these were things like when we didn't have our own house, when we didn't have things, we weren't prepared we didn't have these things now we've got our own house we've got our own place we should have these kind of things as a normality in the house so yeah I wanted to go get some stuff like this and then I'll just like create a first aid kit so that's all done this bag is all finished a bit spectacle about my stomach sticking out but it's okay guys I'm sure we'll be okay then I bought a little bit of a TMI product, uh, but who cares, we're all ladies here. I'm sure if you guys are some men, then hey ho. This is uh, just female stuff. I bought myself some Tampax. And then this I've been looking for for such a long time, guys. So I saw this on so, so, so many, um, like, um, I saw this on so many home decor places, and I always wondered, like, where... where they got this from and I finally saw it in Wilco they've actually got two so they've got this one and they've got a bigger one so the two of them look really cute so this was for 350 and the bigger one was for five pounds now this obviously guys um is for your bathroom so this is really cute like I personally think you can just put in your earbuds and just put your earbuds take the top off take an earbud off and then the bigger one was really cute as well like I would recommend like putting in your makeup pads or like any cotton pads that you need or you have you can just put all your cotton pads in there as well so this is really cute like I'm so glad that I got this I've been looking for this for the longest time ever so so excited to add this into my bathroom then the last two like last couple of things are really quite boring I just bought this metal like comb here this just has this tail tip I had one and I don't know where it went. This was 50p, really cheap and cheerful. This is just cute because even when I do Abneet's hair, I like to do like the middle parting when I do her little like things. And even when I do my braids, a nice little middle parting, it just helps comb it. So got that. And then another like too much information for some of you. Um, I have feet phobia, so I don't really like discussing feet, but I got this Pumice Stone. Now I've got really bad um, like feet, so I believe in my defense is ever since I started going to get pedicures done 
It's made the bottom of my soles worser, like not even worser. They were fine until I started getting pedicures done. And as soon as I got pedicures done, I just find like my soles are just, they are not nice. So I picked up this because my soles are really bad. This was for one pound. I don't know how this is gonna work. I really hope it's gonna be kind of nice. I'm gonna try it out, see what it's like, if it's good. I'll just see what that's like. And then the last thing I picked up from Wilco was this. So I don't, I do have one for my drawer for my cutlery, but that one um, I find like it collects dirt because it's not got holes. So I find like it's always collecting dirt in between. So I found this one and I thought this one would be quite nice. Also the drawer um, where I put my cutlery is very, very small. I think it's actually a like this, to be honest. Um, it's a bit a bit like this. I think it must have been from Wilkinson as well. It's literally this size. So I'm just going to put this in there instead and just um, see. I think I need to change it as well. I did see some cutlery as well, and I was going to pick up some nice cutlery from Wilco as well. Um, but then I just thought, I'm going to wait. Uh, it was £12 for a set of 16 so I thought I'm just going to wait a little bit longer and then see. Like, I'm just debating because it's... We obviously want to make our kitchen, so it's always kind of clueless of like when or when, like when or where we should buy some things. So that is always the case. So um, it looks like I've got loads of parcels here, but I haven't. So this is just my Evian water here and then Abney's jacket on top. So we went to Costco the other day. We did like a huge Costco shop. So that's just that stuff there. And then I'm just going to use my keys. to get into this box here. So I do know what I've ordered, but I'm kind of like forgetting at the same time. I ordered about five or six items from Amazon. So I'm gonna see which things, which thing. So, okay, so this thing I'm actually really disappointed with. So I might just return this, but I went into Wilkinson and they had a dupe of this, not as obviously vintage as this one, but they had a dupe for six pounds and I picked this up for 25 pounds. But the first thing I've got is, I don't even know if I should open it because if I want to return it, is is this thing here. So this is just a very, I'm not gonna open this up guys, just gonna show you like this just in case I want to return it. But this is a vintage, um, just like a watering can. Um, so Wilkinson had this. Obviously, it's not as vintage looking as this one is. But that one, they had several colors. They had like a mint green. They had like a normal color, pink. They had a brown. And that was for six pounds. So I might just return this and, yeah, just pick up the six pound one. Because I've literally, I've only bought this like vintage can it's only for her photo shoot i don't see this vintage can sitting anywhere in the house for decor so i might just return this one so i shall see how it feels if you guys see in the photo shoot it just means i kept it if you guys don't see in the photo shoot then obviously it means that i did return it photo shoot that I need to get so I should really work on it all today so another thing which I got for her photo shoot was a flower garland so this is a really long flower garland that I got so I think this is two yes I believe this is two but this is a nice little flat like uh, floral garland I got and this is just meant to be like hanging like this so this is super cute actually, I'm really happy with this, it's just like perfect. So I got this beautiful flower garland over here, so excited for this as well guys. Oh and then this is a pampas grass I ordered, so I'm curious to how this is going to look actually because I'm not quite sure. Um, so in the picture it looked a little bit bigger than this, which is always the case with pampas grass to be honest. It always looks bigger than what it's meant to be. But this, if you guys can see, has got a little bit of a rose effect to it. I don't know if you guys can see it, but yeah, can you guys see it's got a bit of a pinkish effect to it. So I just thought this would look really nice as well. So for this, 
I actually still haven't ordered the flowers because Amazon was really expensive for the flowers. So I meant to buy flowers to put into here and I meant to have flowers that I meant to put around. But the Amazon flowers just for artificial flowers, they were about um, like £10 a small bunch. So then I just thought that Tesco's or like Lidl or like Audi, they just do, their fresh flowers are a lot cheaper than what Amazon was giving me for artificial. So then I just thought, you know what, if I do a shoot, I'm just gonna do it with some fresh flowers. I'm not even gonna do it like without. Anyways guys, this was my, oh, this was my um, haul done. Um, let me just show you guys like all of the stuff and there's me. Um, so this is all of my stuff just on the floor. And then also guys, I didn't get a chance to show you guys, please excuse the mud over here. Uh, it is pretty muddy, but I didn't get to show you guys like our new uh, um, shoe rack that we got made. So I actually got this made from my uncle. My uncle's um, a, um, would you say carpenter? But my uncle is a guy who just makes like wardrobes, fitted wardrobes. So he made this, this is all fitted. So if you guys see, I can't move this at all. It's all fitted and you can't move the cushion either. So you can't pick up the cushion, you can't move the cushion. So I just wanted something like you come inside and you can just put a few of your shoes there and then you've just got somewhere to sit and I wanted it to be like velvet. And then I also got this as a handleless. So it's just a push open and a push open here as well. So it's nice, it's just a push open, um, which I love. And then I know it is pretty small and like some of you may be like, what can you even store in here? But trust me, you can store a lot of shoes in there. It's actually really, really good. You can store so many shoes in there, which I absolutely love. Um, so yeah, so this was the Pampas Grass, guys. So when I originally got this Pampas Grass, this was very minimalistic and it didn't look like um, it could, it didn't look really, really out and it looked very slim. But over time, this has really just, it's popped out and it's become bigger. And honestly, every time I put a flower pot in this window, it always looked really, really um, simple and boring. But uh, since I put this, I think this is pampas grass kind of just sits here perfectly. <coughs> Sorry guys, I'm like so out of breath. So out of breath. And then I'm being a bit intrusive into my in-laws room, but um, I wanted to show you guys their wardrobe. So we also got this wardrobe made in their bedroom as well. So this is actually really, really lovely because it doesn't take up any extra space in their bedroom. It's literally just, it's so slim, it's just so nice and it's so convenient. As you guys can see, it doesn't come out a lot. It, it's not in your way and for a box room, for something so small, let me guys show you guys like their room, but it's, please excuse their towels, um, but it's literally just so nice. You've got a double bed, you've got a nice little side table and you've still got ample space around to walk. So it's just perfect. But I got this wardrobe made over here. So if you guys can see here, we've got a top container over there where you can put towels, bed sheets. So I do need to get new towels for the entire house, um, like all same colors. So like the guest room will have same colors. We will have same colors. So I do want to get that. Then you've got one little hanging space here with, you know, any guest comes along or like my in-laws are here, they can hang their clothes. Obviously this isn't a lot of hanging space, but it's just enough. I've, they've got some space in the kids room as well, but and then we've got three drawers over here. They're all soft shut so no one can bang them. And then I just got two mirrors here. So whoever comes, they've got a choice if they wanna stand on this one or if they wanna stand on this one and then just look at themselves from this mirror. They've got this as well. So brilliant. Um, this is another thing which is new in the last few days. I feel like this is gonna be a hella long vlog guys because I've been vlogging from the morning and then I vlogged now and I've been talking for ages with my haul but yeah guys so, so I'm just going to now um this lighting is amazing I'm actually now just going to quickly clean I'm also going to cook um I don't know whether to vlog 
the whole cooking and cleaning. Uh, and probably not the cooking part, but I can probably vlog some cleaning. The only reason I don't want to vlog cleaning is just because it's. I don't want this vlog to be super, super long. That's my only issue. I'm literally just thinking. But Avni literally just went to the park as soon as I got into the house. So everyone's at the park now. It's such a beautiful sunny day. I feel like going to the range, but now that I'm thinking about it, there's nothing that I need from the range that I need to go. I think it's just the fact that it's my day off that I really want to leave. Um, but there's nothing that I really need. Um, now that I'm looking at everything as well, the concept of fresh flowers and everything, I think Avni's stuff's going to be fine as well. So the only thing that I do need is a cake stand, but I think that... Um, we might get that as well. Okay guys, you guys are really gonna think I am something else. I'm just a nutty weirdo person. Um, so we were at home, we were relaxing, we were chilling. Then I started watching a YouTube video of someone with home decor and well, I wanted to come to Home Bargains. So I went to my local Home Bargains and my local Home Bargains was where's my mask my local ho my local home bargains was really packed out and it was really small i was like if it's packed out there's not going to be a lot of stuff in stock so i'm going to head to another home bargains so i came to home bargains guys so we're just about to go into home bargains i don't know whether i should get a big trolley or a small trolley let's just get a small trolley because this isn't going to be a huge haul but I wanted to pick out a few things, so I thought, you know what, I'm just going to head to Home Bargains now. So let's see what I pick up, let's see what I get. If I do get home, I will probably do a Home Bargains haul if I do buy a few things. If I don't, we'll see, but yeah, we're in Home Bargains. <sighs> Back into the car, guys. Look at my makeup, guys. It is literally ruined. I've got makeup everywhere. My face has actually become really oily as well. And I just realized I had a day off today and I have not enjoyed my day off or I have not done anything with my day off, which I really should have done, which is really, really sad. I really should have done something with my day off, but I really didn't. Um, but yeah, so I'm just back in the car. I didn't really pick up much, to be honest. I just spent about 16 pounds. Um, so I just bought um, like four of these spray things here. So these are really plain and I was looking for the stickers to put like for storage stuff like to put on here but actually I realized it's probably good that I didn't get the stickers. It's probably better that I get the stickers from somewhere like Etsy. So I'm just going to order some stickers maybe put like um, Zaflora on here or like um, like um, so Zaflora probably put, put like hob cleaner and just things like that. So. I'll put those on here but these were for like a pound each they even had the bigger ones but i think these ones look a little bit more uniform a little bit more cuter so i got these and then i also picked up a little bit of the pink stuff as well so if anyone knows what the pink stuff is i picked up some of the pink stuff as well sorry guys i'm just gonna literally put my navigation in sorry guys i was just putting in my address my uh, battery for my phone is gonna die anytime soon so I just wanted to pop my address in to the navigation rather than just using um, rather than just using my phone uh, which I always use for my navigation I really want to start using my actual car navigation I never use that a lot of people use their car navigations like a lot of my friends all use their car navigations um, so yeah I just bought uh, a bit of the pink stuff I've not really used a lot of the pink stuff but um, I wanted to see if the pink stuff works. I've just got a few like stains um, like on my um, tap um, in the bathroom, which I wanted to see if that comes off. And then I think that's about it. I was looking for the pink stuff, the spray, which would see if I could get the carpet removed, like would sort the carpet out, but it did, I couldn't find it. So we didn't get that. Oh, oh. So yeah, I did want to go into the range, but to be honest, I'm just like, you know what, there's no point just going to the range now. So I'm not going to go to the range. I have no idea. 
idea what's happening with this. Still in the car, guys. Still in the car. It's getting darker. Uh, I don't know why my accent's changed. Um, but yeah. So I'm still in the car, guys. Um, it is getting darker. It's like at 4.50 now. So I don't know why I'm wearing these. I don't need these anymore. There is no sun outside. Um, but yeah, I'm just on my way home. Still have another like 20 minutes to go. 20 minutes? Yeah, 20 minutes to go. I don't know why, like, I came to this home bargain. Um, yeah, I don't know why. The um, hardest thing about, like, where we live is it's an excellent location. It's very, um, like, countryside. But everything, like, every store we want to go to, the normality is that it's about 20, 30 minutes away from our house. So... It just takes a good long while just to get to whichever store we want. Like our local range from us is about 35 minutes. Um, like our local Sainsbury's is about 15 minutes. So it is very like hard because everything is so like dispersed. Um, but yeah, it's nice that everything, like it, it's, an hit, it's a hit and a miss at the same time. But look, the weather looks so, so, so amazing. I literally feel like I'm in India. I don't even know why. Everything is just so dispersed. Everything is just so countryside. And then we've got this like beautiful like sun hitting us and everything just feels like literally we just, I just feel like I'm in India. Like if you guys look around me, it's all just trees and beauty. And I haven't seen this because the last year, um, I think last year around this time, uh, oh yeah, it was lockdown because when I had Avni, we were locked down. So um like we couldn't go anywhere so the entire summer i lost and i couldn't travel i couldn't go any shops or anything even though it is locked down now but and then it's like the rest of the winter time every time i went to like home bargains and things it was just all dark um but yeah so it's kind of nice um i'm just heading home now quick little clip it of me you don't want a video you want to say hi to YouTube Harvey's super tired today so because of waking up really early this morning he woke up at like 6 30 I believe this morning so just because of that she's really he's really tired Harvey look she's bringing all of your books come on pick them up Harvey otherwise she's gonna end up taking all of them out Avi, don't hit her. No, I need to be naughty. Avi, Harvey, mm. stop. She's your baby sister. <coughs> so, yeah. So, as I was saying to you guys, um, the house was super messy. Um, even when I was doing my B&M haul, like, um, the pampas grass kind of went everywhere. There was um, a lot of, like, mud in the porch and things were just everywhere. So I've still got a lot of stuff to kind of, like, put away. I've got, like, a box of fairy liquid. I've got water. Box of water. Harvey, careful, darling. That's going to break. And I've just got so many, like, things to just put away. Plus some of like the stuff which I bought today, all of that needs to be put away as well. So yeah, um, I just finished like doing the vacuum, cleaning everything. I want to deep clean the kitchen as well. I think uh, me and Jaggy still need to eat. So after me and him finish, then I'm just going to deep clean the sink with the sift that I bought today as well. The kids are just playing. Harvey just came back uh, a little while ago. Um, so yeah, so just kind of like um, cleaning everything, putting things back into its places. Downstairs it's spick and spam, loving that. And yeah, I even, I even put some fabric spray on the curtains, on the footstool. Um, I even put some on the new porch bench, um, on top of the shoe rack as well. Um, just so everything's smelling really nicely. Half! Yeah, but don't, don't let, don't touch her face like that. 
I will tell her, Avi, come here now. Right, just put all the books back and then mommy will help you. Go on. Oh, kids, eh? So, nothing really planned for today. I just can't believe that today was Thursday and Thursday is over. I forgot, to, which I've just remembered, I need to pick up Avneet's cake smash cake tomorrow evening as well. So that's going to be a little bit long. You want to pick it up with me? Okay. So I need to go and pick that up as well tomorrow evening. And yeah, so we've just got quite a bit going on. Um, luckily that's a good thing that I just kind of clean today which means that I won't have to worry so much about cleaning tomorrow um, which will be quite nice and I've put things away I've also run a laundry machine just now as well I'm gonna run um, so I've run that I'm gonna put that out to dry overnight and then I'm just gonna run uh, like put one in so it's ready for the morning so that means that my laundry is out of the way as well everything should be drying for the rest of the day Hi Juggy, do you want to say hello to your YouTube? He's never on my YouTube. Hello. Hey. <laughs> oh. How are you going to the pick up the but yeah, so we're just going to carry on with the evening, guys. If I don't get a chance, then it's a good night from me for now. Thank you for watching my vlog today. I know it was a bit of a long one. I really hope you guys enjoyed the Wilco vlog. And if I do vlog later, then that'll be fantastic. But thank you.